Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to look at the Shop Saber Pro Series CNC router. This machine was designed to provide Shop Saber CNC technology in a production level solution with up to 5 by 10 capacity. The frame itself is the foundation of the machine. The ShopSaber Pro Series features a one-piece, all-welded structural steel frame. This is the same type of steel that bridges are made from. We prefer structural steel because it's very consistent and works well with our analytical design software. You know, a CNC machine's accuracy is determined in large part by the underlying machining on the frame structure. That's why we machine the frames on the Shop Saber Pro Series CNC's in a single setup on an aerospace mill. These large machining centers allow us to provide a truly accurate surface for items that attach to, such as guide rails, ball screws, mounting brackets, all done in a single setup so the accuracy of the machining becomes the accuracy of the aerospace mill. The more accurate the frame, the more accurate the machine. For us, it doesn't make sense to cut corners in this area, especially if it reduces machine performance. One of the characteristics of our machine tool grade CNC routers at ShopSaber is the large thick walled tubular steel we use to make the frame components. Many competitors use much smaller tubes to save money. Some even use sheet metal formed in a tube shape to make you think they're using structural steel. The ShopSaber Pro Series is truly a machine to a great CNC router. Not only does this make the machines last longer, edge finishes and accuracies are much better. Another advantage of using large thick wall structural steel is it allows us to employ a stacked steel design approach. The structural tubes are stacked, then welded together to provide a single all welded unitized structure. Components are strengthened from their association with adjacent parts. The entire process creates a synergy that's impossible to achieve any other way. Many other machines use much smaller legs with four or six posts, in effect suspending the machine forces in the air, increasing the risk for vibration. The advantage of the stack steel approach for the end user is a machine design that produces fewer harmonics, and that means better edge finishes. This is Shop Saber Engineering at work. The gantry and gantry supports are also made from thick wall structural tubular steel, just like the base frames on the Shop Saber Pro Series CNC's. This complements the base frame design and actually extends the effectiveness of the overall mechanical approach. By using the larger tubes, we not only stiffen the structure, but also increase gantry height clearance. These machines come standard with 12 inches clearance under the gantry and 16 inches of Z-axis travel. The additional travel actually lets you take advantage of the gantry clearance. This is another area where a lot of competitors cut corners to save money. Just like the frame, our gantry structure on the ShopSaber Pro Series is also machined on a precision mill. This has a direct impact on both edge finish when cutting and overall part accuracy. As with the machine bases, large tubes are also used for the gantry structures. The larger air surface areas allow us to provide better component spacing and that increases machine performance. One of the greatest developments in recent years in machine design has been the advent of finite element analysis, sometimes simply referred to as FEA. This is a computerized analytical system that allows us to test mechanical designs under simulated loads. That's actually how we determine optimal component spacing on the ShopSaber Pro Series CNC's. One clear way you can see ShopSaber's FEA abilities in action is in the bearing spacings. Not only does FEA determine the optimum size for components like contour guide rails, it also determines the optimum spacing for the components. By widening the guide rail spacing and using larger tubes, we've been able to increase stability, which has a direct effect on edge quality. Think of it this way, a football player widens his stance to get a stability advantage over his opponent on the other team. It's really the same idea. 
There's another area of machine design that a lot of competitors ignore, and that's the uprights that connect the gantry to the base frame. These are FEA designs also, and you can see that these larger tubular weldments are inherently strong. Our gantry is built for performance. When you use quality structural components and the finest FEA design principle, superior gantry clearances can be achieved. That means you can do more with your ShopSaber Pro Series CNC router. Linear guide technology is the first part of machine motion. These precision contour linear guide rails are used on all axes on the Pro Series CNC's. We start by machining the datums where the rails mount in our milling phase. This assures that the rails mount perfectly straight onto the frame components. Then we add the 25 millimeter precision contour linear guide rails on each axis. This is an area where competitors may cut corners to save money. Finally, we use four quad roller linear bearings on each axis to make sure loads are adequately transferred as the machine accelerates and decelerates. The end result is smooth motion, higher accuracy, and less maintenance. Ball screws used in the X, Y, and Z axes actually create machine motion. This is what makes it a member of the machine tool grade CNC's at ShopSaber. We do this simply because ball screws introduce no play into the drive system and are the top rated drive technology in the world. The same thing that makes precision contour guide rails accurate makes ball screws accurate. Precision high speed hardened bearings following a precision path. The result is no play. This allows us to increase the load capacities and increase the cutting forces while reducing overall wear and maintenance requirements for the machine. This translates into superior accuracies and greater edge finishes. The ShopSaber Pro Series is the industry's most affordable dual drive complete ball screw machine. A lot of companies that we compete with really cut corners in this area and use cheaper rack and pinion systems in the longer axis and then try to play it off as if they're doing what much higher cost machines are doing. Facts remain, ball bearings, are more accurate than any gear. In fact, competing machine even continue to use ball screws in the Z axis, which happens to be the most demanding axis. Drilling, pocketing, 3D surfacing, and even tool changing are heavily dependent on the Z axis accuracy. For us, it just makes sense to use the best technology in all axes. Now, another advantage of our total ball screw approach is that we drive both ends of the gantry utilizing our whip-free precision ball screw technology. This produces extremely smooth Y-axis machine motion. There's another important mechanical reason why Shop Saber total ball screw approach is superior to the competitor's rack and pinion systems. The actual ball screw contact area is nearly seven inches. This adds an additional mechanical component to the design and injects a stiffening effect. Compare that to the minimal contact area of rack and pinion. By nature, roughly one inches or even less. Our total ball screw approach supplies over seven times the drive system support that is normally found on rack and pinion machines. The consequence is superior performance. When you put all this together, the Shop Saber total ball screw approach drive system produces the best accuracies and edge finish in its class and increases the machine life expectancy significantly over other options. Mitsubishi closed loop AC digital servos actually create the motion on the Pro Series CNC's. The glass encoders incorporated into these drive motors produce an enormous amount of positional data on the machine. In fact, by the numbers in many cases, the Mitsubishi motors we use are 20 times more accurate than the competitor solutions. Closed loop simply means that the motors feed this data back to the control, enabling the control to detect abnormalities before problems can occur and then notify you. Plus, there are Y-axis drive motors on both ends of the gantry, providing an enormous amount of power to accelerate and decelerate the gantry mass. This also allows both sides to speak to each other to assure accuracy across the gantry length. Many competitors' machines use less expensive off-brand servos or even stepper motors to cut costs. 
The advantage of the servos we use is that they can accelerate as much as four times quicker than stepper motors and provide unprecedented machine accuracy. Servos can best be described as a GPS in your pickup truck. If you miss a turn, it recalculates your route and you still get to the destination. A traditional lower cost motor will not have that GPS capability. If you miss a turn in the pickup, you get lost. Missing a step on a machine because you tried to cut too fast, cut too deep, or simply outperform the limitations of the technology you're using is like missing a turn in the pickup except the next move on the machine is random. The results are unpredictable and can be dangerous. A Mitsubishi servo-driven machine will give you a competitive edge. The Shop Saber Machine Controller is the final part of machine motion. We designed the Shop Saber Machine Control on a powerful Mitsubishi platform. The operational part of the machine control includes a control stand with auto leveling feet, an at machine solid state hard drive for easy file management, and at machine CAD CAM capability for changing files on the fly, plus our Shop Saber point and click technology. But there's more to machine control than mechanics. There is a people part of machine control that relates to how easy it is for the machine operator to run the machine. We did not want to create an engineering position for the machine operator. The thing that helped us achieve this most was the development of the Shop Saver machine control user interface. Everything the operator needs to run the control on a daily basis is included on a single screen. Let me show you how well this works. We started by putting everything the operator needs to run the machine on a single screen. Let me show you how this is organized. What you see down here actually reflects the machine table or the work envelope. And when you see this red dot here, that's the current location of the spindle. So as I jog the machine around, you'll see that move. That's what's happening actually on the machine itself. And also if you watch up above there, you'll see the dimensions up here change. So you always have live dimensions up here. Now, the operational buttons are grouped together. So for instance, over here, these have to do with jogging the machine. So you'll see the X axis, the Y axis, and of course Z, and I can jog in fast, medium, or slow. Or for special setup sometimes, I may wanna just move a thousandth of an inch at a time, and that's what that does. So when I'm touching tools off, that's really common to use that. Now, some of the other buttons that we use on a regular basis are grouped together here. For instance, when you see this button that says home, home is a mechanically determined position by sensor. So the first thing we do each day is home the machine. So we press that button and the machine homes. Now, other things that we use a lot, for instance, where this says tool HD, that's called a tool height switch. So when we want to put a tool in and touch it off, we simply hit that button. It takes care of that. Now there's a couple areas down here, X, Y, zero and Z, zero. X, Y, zero basically lets us decide where we want to place uh, the corner of the part. So for instance, let's jog over here and we'll move down here and let's say this is going to be our origin. And we'll come back to that in a minute, but when I hit that, you'll see it. So now that's where the corner of the part's going to be that I'm gonna run on here. We have the same thing for Z, we also have the ability to say, okay, this is where I want the Z0 plane to be, so I jog it down to that and press that button. All right, now this area over here actually displays where the program is going to be. So now let's start by loading a program. So I go File, Open, select the program, and I'm going to hit this button, which lets me view it. There's where the part's going to be. It's on the table. You see where the origin is. All I have to do to make this part is hit this button. And then you'll see the actual moves on the machine live on the screen here. So there's the spindle, there's where it's starting. That's all it takes to run one of these machines. As you can see from my quick demonstration, this controller is user friendly and quick to navigate. We understand the hardest thing for most novice CNC users is the software side. We've spent just as much time developing a system that allows our customers with no experience to pick up and learn this in a very short amount of time. Many machines today are clunky and hard to work with, so hard that the learning curve may be weeks or months, and in the end, you may have to pay someone to train you on site. With a Shop Saber system, we can remotely log directly into the machine and do online assistance and machine diagnosis if necessary. 
In fact, these machines are so easy, we give you lifetime free support and training. That is confidence at its finest. The development of Super Z technology was a result of an engineering project to increase the actual amount of Z travel that was available. We wanted to enable customers to be able to machine a part if it would clear the gantry. Finite Element Analysis, FEA, software was used to design the tool plate stiffeners that permitted us to accomplish this with no sacrifice in edge finisher part accuracy. An important part of Super Z was the addition of air balancers. These take the mass, that's the weight of the tool plate assembly, off the actual ball nut. This allows us to increase acceleration and deceleration in the Z axis without adding additional wear. The end result is faster 3D machining, tool changing and drilling. Keep in mind, in 3D machining, the slowest axis determines the speed limit. Since this is almost always the Z axis, increasing the machining speed in Z has a profound impact on the time required for machining 3D surfaces for these machines. The last item to consider is by extending the Z axis travel to 16 inches, you can run a traditional four inch long tool and still clear the 12 inch gantry clears. This opens up so many machining possibilities. The machine here is equipped with our HSD ATC model spindle, which stands for Automatic Tool Changer. The Shop Saber Pro Series CNCs are available with a variety of spindle options. These are available in both five and 10 horsepower on 100% duty cycle rating for both single or three phase operation. We also offer these machines with manual tool changers, as well as a quick change model, depending on what your application requires. This machine features our phenolic high flow vacuum table. We also offer these tables in an MDF product as well as aluminum by special order. All tabletops on the Shop Saber are machined with the CNC machine itself to assure accuracy from cutting head to bed, which reduces your need for gasketing of the spoil board and provides a truly more accurate table surface. It also means you have full table coverage by the spindle. The top of these vacuum equipped tables includes our exclusive Shop Saber engineered vacuum grid. This places about 50% more vacuum to the underside of the spool board than our typical competitor. This simply means that the tables hold parts better. All the main vacuum connections under the table are hard pipe. This provides better vacuum flow to the table, which also means the table hold parts better for a much longer period of time. The flex hoses used on many cheaper machines tend to restrict vacuum flow. Restricted flow means you will need a larger vacuum pump to achieve the same results with the vacuum table. One of the unique design features on the Shop Saver Pro Series CNC is we include four independent vacuum zones, each with two ports per zone. This enables you to do special fixturing setups that get the maximum vacuum to the part you're trying to hold. One more advantage to Shop Saber Engineering is a front cross brace in the frame is used as a vacuum plenum and also includes the valves to control each of the vacuum zones. This works as a reserve tank and helps maintain a steady flow of vacuum even as parts get cut out on the machine table. This specific machine is shown with our hybrid T-slot option, which also provides for a lot of flexibility in part fixturing and additional vacuum. Remember, there's an old saying, you cannot cut what you cannot hold. Therefore, we spend as much time engineering the hold down methods as we do in other areas. This machine features our optional part locator pins. These are used to align material quickly on the table. It makes it much easier for the machine operator to load and unload the machine without having to reset zeros or find material edges. The Pro Series pin option features five steel pins that are pneumatically controlled. They are automated to drop down out of the way when the spindle turns on. You don't have to have a concern about crashing into them. A lot of people don't realize that since the pins are machined into the table, they can be incorporated into a fixture setup. This can be used to ensure repeatability as the fixture is removed and replaced on the machine table. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. The Shop Saber Pro Series represents the world's most affordable three-axis production capacity CNC router. These machines simply blow away the competition from start to finish and give you an edge over your competition. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.